decent and hey we're they jiggle they just Hello there lovers and friends, today's video is all about the tatas, the titties, the boobies, the breasts, and in celebration I am for the first time not wearing a bra in a video, and it actually it feels kind of nice to be honest with you. Um, this video in specificity is really just about giving you the opportunity to hear your boobs described on camera. My areolas. I would say are bigger than the areolas you're going to see on like TV, movies, porn. I have bigger areolas. Oh my God. So my right nipple sometimes will just get like rock solid for like a week. But now that I've um, been able to nurse both of my kids, I would definitely say our relationship's gotten better. Since I've had them tattooed, I kind of like feel pretty. See my boobs. Sometimes I just want them to not be on my body. Even if you do get a boob job, they're still not going to be perfect. I can promise you that. <laughs> but they did come out really amazing. I love the way they look. I think it fits my body more. These women that say, oh, I got this perfect like 10, $20. You know what? I will punch you in the throat. These are not cheap. If I find one that is, is $100, I'm doing a dance. I'm a like plus size woman, but my, my boobs are very, you can call it small, I guess. I learned to love them. Whoop. That was baby cup. Baby cup in the face. Ooh. How would I describe my relationship with my boobs? I would say it's more like a couple that needs to be divorced a long time ago. And it's like you want them to be healthy and happy wherever they go. But you also want them to get the fuck away from you. Okay, so today we're going to cover off on shape, size, color, areola, nipple, texture, hairiness, stretch marks. So without further ado, let's dive right in and get to the heart of it all, or the cone of it all, or the oblong of it all, or the pancake of it all. You understand what I'm saying in a second. Boob shaped. They look like pears. They look like side pears. They are like cheap water balloons in the sense that they face like this versus like up front and they just kind of like Hang. I would describe the shape as like tears from an ugly cry. They're round and a little low. They're not saggy, but they're just a little low. I want to say they're kind of like coney, like. My shape of my boobs are a bell shape. They kind of go a little bit like. They're like a round-ish shape. They drop, but not too much. I would say that they're a combination between a round and an oblong, so I don't know if that's gravity or my age. My boobs are fairly round. They have a little bit of a point and they kind of go out to the sides. They are long and they hang down low and they wobble to and fro. My boobs are circular. Don't know why I did that, but <laughs> they're circular. When I got a boob job, I didn't want them to look like huge fake basketball tits like it looks on some people, which is fine because a lot of people want them to look like that. I did not. I want it to look really natural. So I got a special implant called the gummy bear implant, which basically means that it's slanted at the top. So it looks more natural. So instead of being like a big circle, it slants down. I would describe the shape of my boobs as deflated balloons at this point. I mean, they're nicely sized deflated balloons. Or I kind of look at them like deformed Cheerios. Up next, I asked them about their nipples, which in truth is the actual reason I'm even doing this video. Because in my previous videos, 20 women described their vulvas. I talked like for a second about my nipples. I remember for myself, watching 40 year old virgin years ago and they were talking about nipples and the guy was like well what were they were they big were they braille nipples and the guy was like what's braille nipples he's like braille like the ones that have the bumps so you can read on them and i was like oh my gosh i have braille nipples and it was a funny moment but actually a really healing moment for me to know that there was a common theme with that, that there were other people in the world who had this thing on me that I felt made my breasts unpretty or unattractive. And so I've come to love and accept them over time, but yeah, that definitely was a massive insecurity of mine. And so I wanted to hear from other women how they would describe their nips. I have huge nipples. They are midwife approved. And I like the color. It's like a purplish brown, black color. And kind of like this actually, but darker. My nipples, they are um, 
they're they're a little big the areola is probably about that big around it's like medium it's not too big and my nipples are hard not too hard but yeah texture of my areola it's smooth actually uh considering it's cold i thought a bit more a bit more bumpy I used to have these like little bumps around them, but I don't have that anymore. After I got my boob job, they kind of went away. Maybe it stretched out or something. My areolas do have bumps on them, which used to make me really self-conscious until I learned that those little bumps actually lubricate your nipples so that they do not become cracked out and bleeding and dried up um, when you start nursing your babies. The areola is not too small. It's kind of pinky. Everything, like I said, is kind of in proportion. So the size is not too big and not too small. My nipples are not too big and not too small. They kind of feel really in proportion with the rest of my body. My nipple is um, are super big uh, because I have a small set of boobs they take up a lot of my boob it's not like around that much and um, very dark in color very very dark in color here's a question you don't hear every single day do you have hair on your boobs I have really like pronounced hair around my nipple like ones I actually have to tweeze out I think with time, either I've cared less about them or they're not as prominent because I don't notice myself having to tweeze as frequently. But yeah, hair is a thing for me. What about you? I have one hair that grows on this guy. <laughs> I'm a very hairy person, a very hairy person. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. Um, none of my partners have ever complained about it. and if they did complain about it I would shut that down I mean if you look close you can see a little bit of hair like just like around not on the nipple but just like around but you have to really really look for it they're a bit veiny though I have a little hair though on it that's normal it's all boobs I don't have any hair on my breast at all so I guess that's a good thing I don't know <laughs> I didn't even know people had hair on their breast or hair on their their nipples, so that's interesting to know. What I do have, uh, not on my boob, but on my chest, like right here. And I would be very subconscious about this hair right here because when I would wear low cuts, because I have a small set of boobs, I would be like, yeah, fuck it, let's just wear all these low cuts. And I'd be really embarrassed about the hair that would be here, but um, I'm over it. I don't have any hairs, but it's kind of weird, you know, because I don't know if you ladies have that issue, but like on your legs, when you have hairs, you kind of see where the dots are, where the, the hair actually grows out of from. I kind of have those dots on my boobs, but strangely enough, I don't have hair coming out of it, but especially after I, I'm freshly out of the shower, it's so weird because it's like I get little bumps that I can just squeeze. It's like little blackheads. Breasts are kind of like a river. It's uh, alive, it's vibrant, it's flowing with awesomeness, and it rises and falls as the years come and go, depending on how much rain you got. I'm not really quite sure where this is going, but what I'm trying to say is, is that as change happens, you start to notice marks of those change, specifically stretch marks. It kind of looks like someone just went up and around and scratched them very light. I have some stretch marks that are white, I have some stretch marks that are brown, I have some stretch marks that is just pulled skin there's nothing that I can do about them so surprisingly I don't have any stretch marks and I say surprisingly considering that they went from a B cup to a triple D in such a short amount of time I don't have stretch marks at the moment but I do get them from time to time I have quite a lot of stretch marks not so much on the top of my boobs it's normally on the sides um, because I fluctuated weight so much in the past couple of years definitely once you lose weight gain weight lose weight gain weight you have, I have stretch marks on both. Which of your breasts are the larger one? And if you just touched your boobs just now, you have to put an exclamation mark in the comment section because I know you did. Um, mine, I think, is the left one. My boobs are so inconsequential. It's kind of difficult to tell the difference really, but I feel like it's the left one for me. Is one boob larger than the other? No. They better not be, especially since I paid for them. My right boob is definitely the bigger one. She gives me the most trouble. Anytime I go bra shopping, I can definitely get this one in and it looks great. But on the right side, I'm struggling. They're basically the same size. Like I have more like side fat on one boob. But that's just the consequence of being fat. I do not have very perky breasts just because of their shape. 
um one of my boobs is definitely bigger than the other my right one is bigger than the other so this is the big one that's the small one my right one is bigger not by a lot but like if you have both hands on them you'll be like oh hey your right one's bigger one side is always different because when i feed my baby one of them is empty and then the other one is full. So I would, I don't ever walk around with um, equal size breasts, I would not say. Like right now I probably have a C cup and a double D. <laughs> Next up, I asked a question that every girlfriend has asked her girlfriend. Have you ever considered a boob job? Just, just, just to get rid of them. Sometimes I, I don't know. Sometimes I don't want my boobs. Like I, I really don't, but. Again, I'm still exploring myself as a queer person. My waist, you know, it's not that bad, but it's not proportionate at all to what I have up top here. And that creates so much pain, so much discomfort in my life. Have I ever considered plastic surgery? Absolutely. I will definitely be getting a breast reduction. That is not a question, not a shadow of a doubt. It just comes down to a matter of timing. I did have a breast reduction. I was a early bloomer in the game, so I had quite big breasts, especially after having my son and they got out of control. So now I have nice perky breasts where they're supposed to be. I have considered getting plastic surgery. Um, removal. For me, the doctor I went to, there was a fee for the consultation. And as I mentioned, I did see multiple different doctors. And when I went in, you met the doctor. He answered any questions you should have. You got to see the different types of implants. You met the patient coordinator who went over surgery, pricing, scheduling, all of that. They have this 3D imaging, which helped me a lot. I've never considered a boob job because I've always absolutely loved my boobs. Um, I've thought about breast augmentations um, and I've done like the research I've looked up doctors and stuff um, but I just personally haven't taken that route yet I've definitely considered a boob job before um, I wouldn't anymore when people see my boobs for the first time I'm always kind of like nervous because they are kind of weird to me like they're not like what you see in magazines when like girls have little chests and it's kind of like cute and perky like they do weird things. <laughs> so I'm always a little like self-conscious and try to like put my arms together. That way they kind of come back to the center. <laughs> Over the years, boyfriends and friends have always told me that I have perfect boobs, whatever perfect boobs are. And finally, to close things out, I wondered what advice people would give to their younger self about their boobs, knowing what they know now about them. I would also tell myself to stop wearing so many push-up bras. Like, my God, I used to, I like had the extreme push-up bras. But yeah, stop wearing push-up bras and don't compare yourself. That's pretty much what I have to say. Advice to my younger self, girl, they're not getting any bigger. No one's gonna complain about them. Um, and you end up liking them eventually. You just gotta get there. Just, you just gotta accept the fact that this is what they look like. I would tell my younger self that it's okay to be an early developer. Everyone grows at different rates and I, sh I should have worn more cami tops. I should have gone against my mum's will and wore cami tops because I would have been so much more comfortable with my body at a quicker rate. Um, and I shouldn't have restricted myself. I was always wearing really baggy jumpers and always wearing baggy shirts to cover up. Why, why cover up what God gave you? <laughs> uh, I would probably just say, it's not gonna change. <laughs> I, would, <laughs> I would just tell my younger self to get over it quicker. I've reached a point in my life where I'm, I've accepted them. So just go with it, live with it. And then hopefully, like I said, by dropping some weight, I can get back to at least my initial size and then appreciate it more. I think I look better with D cups than G cups. If I could give my younger self any advice about my breasts, I actually would tell myself to do a breast augmentation younger. Only due to the fact that this is something that I wanted for a very long time. I already knew that it was something I was going to do. And the only reason why I waited as long as I did was due to the fact that my family was 
and all actually a lot of my friends were very judgmental I had people telling me like you're perfect the way you are you don't need to do that you need to love yourself more whatever it may be but with that being said that's other people's opinions being thrown on you just because I did a breast augmentation does not mean I did not love myself. I did love myself and now I have fallen in love with myself, which are two different things. The last noteworthy thing I would say about my boobs is that I have some extra nipples, some extra nipples for some extra fun. Um, as you can see, there's one here and then there's like a little baby one next to it. I would tell her, don't be in a rush. Don't be concerned about their size. They're arbitrary. I mean, to me anyway, not, not to everybody. And when you're ready for them to do their job, they'll do amazingly. Honestly, don't think that there's like a set standard for what a ad conventionally attractive boob supposed to be like. Just love them. Tell your friends, these, <laughs> these little bad boys are your friends, they are your friends, your friends, your friends, your friends. I teach that our bodies have muscle memory, right? So um, emotional muscle, emotional memories as well. So when I grab my boobs, I can feel all the different experiences, um, intimate experiences that I've had. And sometimes like they were just not given so much tender loving care as they needed to. And so um, as I started loving myself and, you know, essentially rubbing my body with lotion, I rewrote those stories from my, from my, in, within my heart, within my, within my breasts. Be thankful. Big ups to all the people who took part in this video. I find this series so beautiful, affirming, and educational. I want to know from you guys what body part you want to hear about next. Is it penises? Is it butts? Is it legs? Um, maybe it's stomachs. In the comment section below, write your suggestions. And in the comment section below, I want to hear your answers to these questions. If you go in the info box, I copy and pasted the ones I sent to people in this video. You can answer those or just answer the last question. What advice would you give to your younger self about your breasts, knowing what you know right now? The advice that I would give to my younger self is like, keep it up. This is just one area, like one area that I just hadn't really been unbothered about, probably because they're not bothered about me. Like we're just, they're just there. Uh, one of the people said like, it's kind of like, you know, living with a roommate. They're just like there, they're paying their rent on time. They're not eating my food. Like it's a cohesive relationship. But for anybody watching this video who feels deeply insecure about their body and their boobs in particular, I hope watching this was affirming to you that you're not alone, that other people might be struggling with the same things or accepting um, the same things that you have come to accept about yourself. Because let's face it, we're all not going to have perfect X, right? If we spoke to any 10 people, there's gonna be one who loves, one who fixed, you know, and eight others who are just working it out somehow, some way. And those eight other people, they're still enjoying life. They're still making friendships and finding love and finding their purpose and their passion. You don't need breasts or perfect breasts to get where you need to go in this world. If it might give you that extra bit of confidence so you walk with your chest higher, all power to you, but that's not the secret ingredient that's missing. It's your belief in yourself, your acceptance, um, and your overall love and enthusiasm for who you are as is. And that can come at any moment. So if you wanna make that choice today, make that choice. If you wanna make that choice post-surgery, go ahead and make that choice. But you deserve to feel good about yourself, and I don't think there's anything stopping you from feeling that way right now. Uh, yeah, I used to think about you when I had no one to talk to Hella bougie, kinda moody, bouncing when you walk through And you used to get that Brazilian wax Yeah, I put that on a wax Cell phone, pull it out the Zillian bag How you getting stacks? Where they flying you? Where you flying to? Oh, I see you in the island Mama call, put your cell phone, always silent You a pirate, floating overseas for the diamond Ain't surprising